What's up, Beyblade fans? So we have managed to pick up the Interstellar Drop Battle Set from Beyblade Burst Quad Drive. This comes with a really cool stadium that I'm excited to play around with with multiple layers, and it'll be a lot of fun. It also comes with two bays and the necessary parts to be able to play, so this is definitely a recommended pickup if you're just getting into Quad Drive and you want to play with the Quad Drive parts. This is definitely recommended for kids. It says 8 and plus. You could probably go as low as 6. If your kids you know able to deal with a couple of small pieces that are going to be coming with this but this is an excellent pickup for little kids to play around with it is not something for the older kids or the teens that are into Beyblade you're gonna want to get something along the pro series line or into the Japanese products so this is going to come with two Beyblades the Devastate Evo Bellfire and the Prominence Phoenix so, uh, Devastate Evo Bellfire is a di or dangerous Belial as it was in the Takara products, and then we still have Prominence Phoenix named the exact same way. So, uh, Belial or Bellfire is going to go from attack into stamina. I'm just going to call it Belial from now on because I'm going to keep messing that up. Uh, it has a really high 17 attack, which we should see from those parts. And it is going to be a pretty cool bay. And then Prominence Phoenix is going to go from defense to balance type there. Uh, it should have a cool gimmick, but we're going to look and see if that is in place. It does have a huge 15 defense if it has the plus attachment on there. So it should be able to resist that 17 attack from Bellfire. So let's drill in to what bays we get from this set. Sazaze. So first up is the chip here for the Belial 2 chip. So this one just has a fancier side look of Belial instead of looking forward. Looks pretty cool though that knight there. They've got the triple colors of the blue, gold, and uh, red on top of the black actual coating. So we really get the Belial look out of this bay. Some of the quad drive ones you haven't really got been able to tell what the guy looks like and this one's doing a better job at that. Got that QR code there to look at for this bay. But this is a decent chip, looks pretty nice, and it should work pretty well. Our lair is the Dangerous. So Dangerous is a triangular lair, so we've got the three sides. We've got the attacking wing sections, as well as we've got some buffering jagged sections here. So the attack wings are not reverse wings as much, so they're not made for flipping, like most Valkyries and whatnot are with triple wings. These ones are made for battering to smash into your opponent. So this one is going to be good at spinning right and doing some major smashing damage with these wings instead of flipping damage. So those smashes, you should see quite a bit of uh, wall hits, and if you're in an arena that has them, this one is going to be decent at knocking out the opponent. Uh, these segments are a little bit high up, and sometimes enemies are going to get down into this section, which isn't ideal, and that's going to tip you up, which is definitely the weakness of this layer. So you're going to have to be a little bit careful to make sure you're tilted enough that you're smashing with this, and your enemies aren't getting into that lower segment. This one, of course, spins right. Let's check it out with its two armor. The two armor distributes the weight to two sides. So that will clip in. Oh, let's get the chip in first, of course. So the chip goes in. You've got these little circles here. So you've got a circle there and you got a circle on the layer and that's how you know it will lock in. And then the armor slots in in the opposite side that you put the chip in. So that one will lock in like that. And we've got ourselves Dangerous Belial. Looking pretty nice. Nexus is our weight discs. No, taper, tape. For this combination, we've got the CQ Cyclox, something like that. Cyclox uh, weight disc. This is one that is unique to Hasbro. You could tell because it is quite hollowed out on the inside, and then the name is like CQ. The Q is for quad drive, and all of the quad drive specific weights seem to be a letter and then Q. Uh, this one is a attack style, right spinning design. When you have these wings like this, that is almost always a right spin throwback. It's supposed to go towards kind of like boost and whatnot. The air pressure is supposed to run along these and push the bay blade down towards the base, uh, increasing attack potential theoretically. Uh, this is an okay disc. It's worked decently well in all the combinations I've tried it in. It does not synergize particularly with this layer, but it doesn't not synergize with the layer. It's just kind of a neutral point. So if you lock it in there, you do have some wing sections lining up with the wings. There's a couple that don't. It's just an okay design. 
I would go with something a little bit different for the weight disc to go with a dangerous here, but this one is going to be fine and it's still going to have some pretty good attack potential. So don't be disappointed by it. Our driver comes with this all night version so it's got its little nub and then the rounded out segment there so that is going to be an attack type with that flat plastic there the flat plastic should have some really high attack potential and then when you switch it off and take this part off it turns into a little nub which is also i believe supposed to represent all might's uh, non-activated mode so in the takara all might if you pull it really hard it goes to this mode and if you don't pull it too hard it is in this mode which is more stamina e it has a little tip that it should ride on and then it has a little bit of tilting that will cause some aggression but for the most part stamina e and then with the major tip you've got your attack so that is how this is going to work general flatness it is a Pretty cool looking design here. I think we're going to see quite a bit of extreme movement in our orange uh, arena. Uh, and then it's gonna be a lot harder to record the arena that this one came with because of the dual air system. So we're gonna put the little ring in the top and do some battles at the top. And then we're gonna play around with the multiple modes there. And we've got Dangerous, Belial, Cyclox, All Might. Uh, overall, I was really happy here as I was locking it in. That is some excellent burst resistance for quad drive there. So it takes quite a bit of work to cause this thing to burst, which is exactly what we want from an attack type. We don't want attack types tearing themselves apart. So having this design here with really tightness is going to mean that this bay is going to keep it together. So let me know what you think of this one down in the comments. Where I mentioned that the last one had great coloring, this one's kind of lacking. You can barely even tell the phoenix shape in here. It'd be nice if more of the tail got some attention as well as the face. So that we can really tell this is a phoenix rather than just like a couple of gold segments on some red. Like it's really hard to tell that that is a phoenix. But such is life. Uh, checking out that QR code there. We got a, you can get that into your Beyblade app and play around with this Phoenix. Phoenix is a cool core and we'll have to see just how tight this thing is to see if it can hold together. Onto the lair. So this is the prominence lair and it is honestly a letdown. Uh, I was, I know quad drive is like getting rid of a lot of the gimmicks and in this case they got rid of the gimmick where the armor comes off and I think that that is the biggest mistake they've made in all of uh, Quad Drive so far. Phoenix is, the most important part about Phoenix is that the armor comes off. They've managed to get the armor to come off in previous generations, but in Quad Drive they decided to forgo that and just keep the armor on. That kind of loses the whole feeling of Phoenix, which was really disappointing when I opened this up and saw that this armor does not come off and it's just a big bulky layer. Uh, this is a decent defensive layer and when the armor doesn't come off you should be able to reverse resist attacks quite successfully so this base should be pretty strong against its counterpart in this set that that dangerous belial but without the armor coming off it just doesn't feel like phoenix it got 10 as its little plastic armor 10 is a pretty good armor it's one of the top armors so that is nice to have this time we're going to lock this in in the top mode so the armor is going to be going on top let's put the chip in first though so, so going underneath this time and again you line up those little circles there so the line up the circles and then rotate to clip that in and that is in its high mode now high mode is going to lock in a little bit differently than low mode and it will feel a little bit different so the armor is going to sit on top the chip doesn't sit as high and when it locks into the other parts we'll see a bit of a difference there compared to the uh, belial our weight disc here is tapered. Tapered is a perfectly fine weight disc for stamina types and defense types alike. It is a four star, so I got four stars and I'm happy with that. Tapered is just fine. I have no problems with it. It has great life after dense potential, which means as it is beginning to tip because of the very round nature and no jaggedness, it is going to roll along this on the ground, maybe making another rotation or two before finally coming to a rest, which is great for stamina and defense types alike. Our driver here is going to be Universe Driver. So the Universe Driver has a big round bulging plastic section and then a large braking mechanism that does have some scrapage issues, but has amazing defense and amazing restabilization able to get back up very quickly. This is an excellent defensive section 
and then this pops off into a uh, rounded little ball there. It will have a lot of attack potential on it as it's going to grip and whip around the arena quite a bit so this changes it up to an attack type i would say uh there may be a, it may, it's probably listed as a balance type because there's a little bit of ball there that sticks out that you can just lightly see there so this will go from defense probably to balance and have some decent play around potential i don't see this particular tip being useful with the prominence layer but it might be useful on some other layers so that's pretty cool so here, of course, is Phoenix all locked in. So that high mode, you can see a significant gap difference compared to low mode. So if you're not familiar with the system, there's two different ways to lock in your base. One is high mode, one is low mode. And it's all about where you put the chip versus where you put the armor. And so the high mode is quite a bit taller and will interact differently than with the low mode. I do think some of the bays work better with different modes. So make sure to try it out when you're playing around with your quad drive base. This set, they also decided to give us two more attachments that we could play around with. So this is the Okta attachment. Uh, it works pretty similar to Okta that just came out on the Knockout Odax. You can check out my Knockout Odax video to see how that plays around in the proper way when it has all the metal and gimmicks. This one does have a little tip that'll wear down rather quickly. After a few matches, that tip will be gone. This thing is going to move around like crazy. It bounces around stadiums because of the shape and design, and it's a very interesting tip. This other tip, it looks like... I'm not sure, actually what this is supposed to be <laughs> i keep doing that i keep saying something with confidence and then being a little bit confused when looking at it uh it is an attack type i can tell it is flat there it's got some rigid edges it will be moving around in attack style i'm just not sure what this tip is actually supposed to represent it kind of looks like hunter but i know it's not hunter because we have other hunters and that is not what this one is looking like this is also very unique as a uh, locking mechanism here compared to all the other quad drive uh, attachments the plus attachments they all kind of bulky and wrap around the core where this particular one is very very thin and it's not going to be taking up quite as much area as we've been having so that's interesting that they gave us a slightly different one and then of course we got the much fatter there on this octa attachment so two more attachments that we're going to have to see how they work and we're going to be checking out the arena so let's look at that Okay, so now we got this arena that I was talking about. So this is a really cool arena. It's quite tall as it has multiple layers. So you start the battle off and if you have some uh, Beyblades that have quite a bit of movement, which both the ones from this should have, they're gonna battle a little bit out in this top arena before eventually falling down into low arena and battling down there. This is, I think, the first quad drive arena that has a knockout pocket. So there is a knockout pocket here and on the other side. The purpose of this pocket over here is, of course, when they're done battling in the bottom, you shake it up and tilt it over and they can pop out the bottom side here so you can retrieve your base and you're not digging around through this little hole and cutting yourself on some of the plastic. So that's generally the purpose of that design. But overall, uh, this is a really cool stadium. It's going to be fun to play around with it. Let's launch some bays into it. I did forget to mention it also comes with this little disc. If you don't want to play around with the bottom area you can just pop that disc in there it nicely fits in and creates a standard arena style so you can still battle in the top without the drop down gimmick or you can remove this to play around with the drop down to remove it you do have to reach in under here and uh, provide a little pressure on the bottom to flip it up it takes a little bit of work but there it is now some base what i love about these new stadiums is the nice straight rip cords look how nice and straight that is rather than all curled up <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start off just checking out how this Bellfire, Evo Elite Bellfire, uh, acts in this stadium. First in plus mode. Three, two, one, trip. So, all right attack pattern. Uh, it started out early right in the middle, which meant that it would have just gone right down the hole if it were not for the little attachment. Let's try that again, but landing it a little bit closer to one of the edges. Three, two, one. There we go. So that'll dance around a bit, which is exactly what you want in the stadium. Moving around the outer edge at first, battling, and then eventually falling down to the lower hole. Now let's check it out without the plus attachment. Three, two, one. Still some decent movement there. And then catching right down to the middle and becoming all calm-like, which is what we expect from a stamina type. 
Now we're gonna take out Phoenix with plus. Three, two, one, three. More preferring the center a little bit there. They'll probably go down the center quite a bit earlier than the Bellfire. Three, two, one. Yeah. As soon as it goes to that center, it would fall down the hole. So it's not gonna be too good at staying on this upper level. And then let's check it out without the plus attachment. Three, two, one. Trip. Bit more movement, but not very controllable there. Just moving around. So we are going to try Bellfire out with the two other tips just to see how they perform in the stadium without the cap on. So let's try that out with this first hunter-like tip. I don't know what to call it. Our editor, I'm sure, will correct me. Three, two, one. Three. Decent movement, nice and smooth. It's not going too wild and it's not knocking itself out. It does get to the middle rather calmly. That's a cool, reliable base there. The second base is the Octa base, so this should be pretty wild. Three, two, one. Three. Pretty wild as it goes really calmly right to the middle and acts exactly like the stamina type that they say Octa is sometimes. Let's try that again and see if we can get a bit of a different reaction, because I would expect it to be a little bit different. Three, two, one. Three. You can hear a bit of it there, but it does calm down quite a bit. So not having the metal sections that come in the traditional Octa might mean that this just does act like a stamina type instead of bouncing all over like I would expect from that base. So there's those two extra bases and kind of how they work. We'll have to play around with those in some future battles. All right, let's check these things out against each other. All right, let's do ourselves a battle with Bellfire and Phoenix, both in uh, plus mode. Of course, the hole is open. Three, two, one. Oh! And Bellfire got torn apart. And that is a first victory for Phoenix there. So let's grab that. Dump those the hole. So I was talking about Bellfire having really good resistance to bursting in my review section, and then that just proved me totally wrong there. So let's see if that happens again. Three, two, one. Trip. Oh, and they go down to the bottom level and are duking it out down there. Phoenix does take the win. That's three points for Phoenix. So we're gonna swap those over to not plus mode. All right, so we're swapping these things over to the not plus mode. So we're switching out to that simpler base. Three, two, one. Both already down to the bottom again. Bellfire getting some good hits off. Will it be enough? Yes, Bellfire does take that win. Three, two, one. Nice early hits. Ooh, close to a knockout. That high ridge is gonna make it pretty hard to get knockouts down here, but they are possible. And that is a spin out for Phoenix. Three, two, one. Ooh, oh, knockout oh. victory. That counts as a knockout for Bellfire as Phoenix has entered that pocket. So that is two to one. Three, two, one. Ooh, knockdown. Phoenix is going a little crazy up top though and spins itself out. That is victory for Bellfire in the low mode. So that's these two, that's this stadium. It's a very interesting stadium with this whole gimmick. Uh, notice that there is a bit of like a sharp edge here so be careful when reaching in you don't want to cut yourself but it is really cool lots of fun and we're gonna have some good battles in this with some of our quad drive bays so stay tuned for a quad drive bay in the interstellar drop battle set marathon battle series catch you guys next time